Hello there, and welcome back to Shadows of Doubt. Yes, <laughs> back on here, back on this game, our private investigator game in our procedurally generated world, procedurally gener uh, procedural generation all around and for everyone. <laughs> but uh, we're back on here, uh, going to be continuing right where we left off and uh, whatnot and uh, see how much information we can collect at this time, how many cases can we solve, how many sync disks can, can we get uh, installed and stuff like that, because we are a cyborg and we know everything. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, go ahead and hop right on in, see what kind of trouble we can get on into. Um, yeah, so a few things there. You might It might be a little different uh, from the previous game, but it is the same, essentially. So... What ended up happening in classic fashion, uh, I got here, ended the episode on the end of the last episode, and right after that, the, the immediate thing I did was click exit. Now, the one thing you want to avoid in this game, because it does not have autosaves, um, the one thing you want to avoid in this game is clicking exit before you save, or to, not, to go a long period without saving, uh, like I do sometimes. <laughs> you want to avoid that. Uh, and the reason is, is because, like I said, this game does not have autosaves, and on top of that, if I click this, the game exits. There's no warning, there's no, uh, no nothing. <laughs> the game just exits itself. So that's, uh, me in classic stupid fashion, um, went ahead and clicked the exit button before I saved. So the entire last episode was all for naught. Um, so basically what I did was I... I went back in and I basically replayed the episode as best I could. Um, I basically did a follow along to my own video. <laughs> I had a video and then I, I watch a bit of it and then, you know, like 20, 30 minutes of it or whatever. Uh, and then paused the video and then went and did that uh, in the game so that we wouldn't have to redo all of what we'd just done. Um, and uh and whatnot so it was uh it was not a fun time because i had to completely redo now luckily because of the procedural generation um that what's weird is since the procedural generation had already generated the case um it had uh um it had just did it in it again in my game so basically uh, i solved the uh the arrest case that we had going and then I solved the Night Stalker case, uh, or the, what was it called? The Bloody Night Stalker or something like that? I can't remember. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had uh, completely solved that case once again. It was ever so slightly different. Um, the person got away with uh, three murders instead of two because, and the reason was because, um, uh, you know how the, uh, in that last case, um, you know how we had two people dead at the one residence, right? Well, this time there was one person dead at one residence and one person dead at the killer's residence as well. They had killed their partner <laughs> instead. Um, and so because if a, uh, now in this game, if the killer uh, kills their partner where they live, they'll never go back to their own residence. And a lot of the time they won't even go back to work. So you'll have to search the entire city trying to find this one person, asking people. The best way is to ask people if they've seen this person, and they'll tell you. And uh, not a lot of the time they won't have relevant information. Um, or they'll have information from one to two days ago. <laughs> oh, I saw that person. It's like Friday, and they're like, oh, I saw that person on Wednesday at this time at this street going this way. It's just like, how is that, inf how is that information relevant to me? <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, I literally spent, I think, you know, the, uh, as long as the episode did go on, and we did have that little whoopsie with the, uh, with the uh, NVIDIA messing with the recording, because it was trying to update the driver, the graphics driver while I was trying to record. Hopefully that didn't happen this time, but uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, the little whoopsie. Um, the episode I think was like three hours I ended up uh, recording but not recording. <laughs> Just thinking it was working, <laughs> and it wasn't. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I ended up spending an extra hour trying to find the killer. 
<laughs> because I literally was just wandering the streets talking to anyone and everyone, and they're just like not giving me any kind of info that I could use. Um, and it just, I just happened to get lucky. Well, I guess you could say unlucky because I spent an extra hour walking around the streets trying to find this person and finally found them because I just happened to be in the right place at the right time where they were going. And it's just like, oh, is this the person? And it's just like, oh, it is. It's like, well, I just spent an hour of my life just wandering around. But anyway, yeah, so that's how that all went down. So basically, yeah, I had to completely redo the last episode off camera just to get us back to where we were so we wouldn't have to redo it this episode so that we can just continue this train rolling. I'm Christopher, brother, whatever. What can I get for you? Uh, you can get me a starch cola, please. <laughs> I still have that addiction. I probably drank a lot more starch cola than I did in the last episode, too. I should probably look at that. That's down to 47.32, so it's getting there. Um, I don't know why I have the City Hall uh, pinned. Let me unpin that cancel room. Okay, let's go look at our jobs. Let's see if we can get any sync disks. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept these jobs. Um, that I don't want and then I'm going to end them so that uh, they get off the board here um, except there except for the arrest cases I'll leave those there but yeah I want these job boards to fill up so yeah it does it does appear that it is this way so um, so we do is uh, get info and then we're just gonna close all these cases because I want more jobs um, that involve apartment for sale. 70 square meters, one bedroom. If it's not 100 square meters, at least I'm not interested. <laughs> but uh, basically we want these job boards to be empty so then people can come and fill the job boards up again. I need to find job boards for um, uh, or jobs for uh, uh, the sync discs and because these case boards are full up not a lot of people are uh, putting up any more jobs uh, yeah that one's just for money that one's also just for money so then yeah we'll just close all these cases I mean, I know it's not the it's not really the right thing to do, but I need to get these I need to get these jobs off of these boards so that I can get better ones. Oops. These jobs suck. Close case. There's no penalty for doing this. There should be, honestly, if you want to prevent this, there should be a penalty. Like uh, that that fee that they're that they're going to give you, half of that fee should be your penalty for closing the case without solving it. So that it gives more of a risk reward type of deal. Like you can take this job, if, if you, but if you can't solve this case. Um, because no one else is going to help me because you took the job off the, you took the job off the board we're gonna charge you half of what the job cost is what we were going to pay you you now have to pay us for taking that job and not solving it and then that brings a little more risk with that I think that would be uh, a good counter to what I'm doing <laughs> like I'm offering counters to the type of stuff I'm doing Yeah, they do have a board in there. I just gotta get in there. Which is through right here. No, don't knock at the door. There's nobody there. Okay. Uh, we already have this. Um, 
that one's just for money. That one's just for money. We already have that sync disk as well. Oh, that's an arrest case. We'll leave that. Uh, interceptor, we already have that, that sync disk. Hey, we got some information. <laughs> um, and then we'll go around. Maybe we'll go around and take a bunch of... Um, uh, Take a bunch of arrest cases. Need to close these out. Use my auto clicker. <laughs> okay. What's this? Oh, it's just a normal door. I was just like, wait a minute. Is there two doors? <laughs> I'm lost. Uh, I guess we're hungry, so we'll go ahead and. Grab some of this. Mm, delicious. Delicious hot dog like thing. Because <laughs> I have no idea what. Uh, well, I do. I should know what it is because I should look, but. Meh. And drink ourselves another starch cola. Another business. There's a sink clinic. Ah, uh, here we go. This one here. The uh, Ruby Pioneer. I know this one as well because the the person I was looking for, the information that I would get, be like, oh, I saw them around the Ruby Pioneer like yesterday, and they were drunk. It's just like, okay, that's not relevant. Set job. Set job. Accept job. Accept job. That one's, that one's an arrest case. That one's also an arrest case. Accept job. So then we'll just close these cases because I don't want them. I only want the cases that have sync disks attached to them. Oops start a new case. I don't, I, hopefully they give a, a use to that, to starting new cases. Uh, to where you can just start stuff on your own. Uh, so both of these were just for money. That's fine. Uh, 32 square meters. Jeez. It's tiny. Oh, this is just open. Yeah, we've been in here before. Oh, this one's just open too. Hey, how you doing? I've gone to the sink clinic. <laughs> I need to go this way. We know just about every code. Like I said, we are a sideboard. We have photographic memory. Um, and the only things we steal are keys and blueprints. Uh, hey, I got that in a little bit of <laughs> a little bit earlier this episode. <laughs> Uh, we know quite a lot about a lot of folks as well. So yeah, what we can do is we can go back to the job boards and see if anybody posted anything. Now, obviously, there's just this job. But yeah, if you actually hang around here, you actually see people post jobs. It's, it's an actual thing that the that the the game tells the citizens to do, which is really cool. That's a really cool feature. Oh, we. Got to buy another starch cola. Sorry. There you go. Uh, this place has a uh, has one of these. Forty-three square meters, a hundred and sixty-two square meters. But the problem is, let's go to that one. Sixteenth uh, floor, McMullen Grove. Yeah, take me there. I actually want to see that apartment, and it's at the uh, sticky, the sticky beefed, <laughs> which is <laughs> sticky beefed. Come get our sticky beef. 
I don't know if you want that. <laughs> I don't want that. Let's go check out this apartment, though. I do want to. I do want to see what it's like. 1601. This might have been. I think. Um, I'm not. I'm not 100 sure about this. Like, so I could be 100 wrong. But I think um, after they clean up the murders at some point, that the uh, the apartments that those murders took place in do get sold again. Like they do go. They go up on those boards. Up on those job boards to be sold. I'm not 100% sure about that, so don't take that as fact. Just take that as me talking out my ass. <laughs> and go, it could be true. <laughs> but I think that's what goes on. I mean, it would make logical sense. It'd be funny go in there, and there's a dead body <laughs> in it still. That's a 1601. Nice and humble, but it's locked. We'll just do... It'll, we'll waste some lock picks, but we really don't have a choice because this is in the corner. So we're going to get spotted anyway. 169 lock picks left. Nice. Alright, so let's go in here. Oh! Oh my gosh, dude! Look at this! Look at this living room! This is amazing! The kitchen I'm not too happy about. It's really tiny. Yeah, the kitchen I'm not too happy about. It's really small. Oh, I hate the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah! I remember this one. Oh, jeez. Two alarm security systems. Uh-oh. Oh, there's an office as well. Nice. And another... There's two bathrooms? I think the door's broken. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> we just got shot to death by a random civilian. Well then. Like I said, we are playing on uh, Expert as well, so. Or Expert. Extreme. That's what it's called. Extreme difficulty, which is the max difficulty, so. There was no surviving that. But all of our medical my all of our medical bills are covered. Because we have Spartan insurance, which is like a real OP um, zinc disc. Like, really, really OP. It does bring us up here, though. The glitchy floor. Oh, I'm not allowed to come inside this uh, room closet. Hello there. Um, security. Oh, you have to disable security for the entire floor, I bet. That was a pretty nice house, though. Uh, like I said, I don't like the kitchen, but it could be something. Simple security for the entire place. It's like, <laughs> oh, you took us in and, uh, uh, you know, saved our life. We're going to investigate you. Oh, there's a key. Give me key. Mine. <laughs> Mine. Fortunately, there's no employee documents. GE, though. They also got Okay, so this will be Aha employee records. So C A Right. 
America Snowden. Snowden. Yes. She's a police officer. M.I. it looks like. That's all. I'm not even gonna try. Not even gonna try. That's like that longest town name in existence. That, uh, whatever the heck it's called. It's the longest town name in the world. <laughs> uh, Gregory Murray. We already got that one. There's also a computer in here, too. 9246, let's try it on the... Hey, that was the code. Nice. And also because we got that code. Oh. There we go. Passcode acquired. Every time we acquire a passcode, we get 25 crows as well. Which is funny. Alright. Some little bit of glitchy graphics going on right here. <laughs> I think they need, they also need a hospital. To, I think that was planned, um, to be honest. I think that was planned. Um, a Seek's job I don't want. Another Seek's job I don't want. Another one of those I don't want. No. And... Just gonna close all these cases. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now I probably have to sleep a little bit before uh, we end up um, getting any kind of uh, new jobs available. Yeah, we should probably go home and sleep. That person is walking on their side. Dum de dum de dum de dum de dum de dum. <laughs> Alrighty then, buddy. So, yeah, let's go sleep for eight hours. Our dude probably hasn't slept in a long time. Now I'm just gonna drink this can. There we go. Throw that in the corner, like. Uh, like we usually do. Let's sleep for eight hours. Um, sleep. Oh, there we go. Let's see what's here. Okay, and set alarm. I'm gonna skip through this, by the way. Oh crap! New murder case. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to cut that out anyway, um, the sleeping. We didn't get our full sleep in, but we did get a new murder case, so we're going to wake up, we're going to get our starch cola, drink our starch cola to steady our nerves, grab another starch cola, and on, uh, off we go <laughs> to our new murder case. Usually this is an uncut series. Oh my gosh, it's really leggy. Um, usually this is an uncut series because I like to, you know, just kind of show off everything. But the sleeping is literally just a black screen. So <laughs> it's just like, I'm probably going to get rid of that. Um, even though we didn't sleep our full eight hours. How long did we sleep anyway? Didn't it's like three hours, I think, is all we got. That's okay. No new jobs on the case board either. So I'll get a resolution form. The Corpo Stalker. I have no idea. <laughs> that doesn't give me any information. Um, then we're going to go 702. Um, L. There we are. Let's go ahead and pin that as well. Because that's where we're going. I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to make a new rule 
after every case we solve, I am going to drop a save. <laughs> that way, if I do forget to save, I only lose a little bit of progress. You know, like maybe some progress of walking around between cases or something like that, you know. Um, or maybe we lose some progress on the case itself, but we don't lose the entire episode if I decide to pull a dumb and quit <laughs> without saving. Yeah, they really need to change that. They probably will. I mean, there's probably enough people whining about that. I mean, obviously it's on me when I uh, forget to save. And whatnot, but uh, yeah, that is actually kind of a that's a little bit irritating. That if you click that exit button, there's no warning, there's no nothing. Like most games, it's like, aren't you want to quit? You know, things like that. Um, even if they don't add auto saves, just like, are you sure you want to quit? And then that makes my brain go, am I sure I want to quit? Yes, or no. <laughs> yeah. uh. The cops are just now going in. Uh, is there any key for this place? Nope. Oh! Yeah, we've been here before. Yep. Uh, we actually died there, or almost died there once. Oh, no keys. Wait, where'd that officer go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, what? They're putting up the tape. Usually they do their little investigation, which doesn't come up with anything. They don't do anything. They just put up the tape and go, nope, you can't come in here. And then they leave. Now. I'm just gonna go on in and see what we can come up with. Now this is a kitchen I can like, and this living room is massive as well. Really nice. Um, oh! Hello there. What does that say? Close the curtain. Close the curtain. No. Looks like just random letters and numbers. Doesn't say and or like that. Jezir... No, that's not even on there. Looks like that's a P. So put... Oh, put a pin in it! Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, that's one of the common ones. HP. No, you killed the person that made HP products. No, we're all doomed. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this is that house! We've been in here before. Unless this is another one. But this house... It has this weird cut. It looks like a cutout into the wall, but it's actually not. It's just a graphical glitch uh, poking through that's paper thin. Yeah, if you actually look at it, you can see it's all level here. It does look like it's indented, but it's not. <laughs> it's fake. Okay. That was just me accidentally hitting one of the number keys. Okay, so they're dead over in the corner. That's a tiny little television. Um, is that all the lights we get? Man. Okay. Drink our starch cola. Let's go over to the body. Um, it doesn't seem to... Wait a minute, what's that? That's a straight razor. Natalia Steffens. We already know. We can solve this case pretty damn quickly, actually. They left their straight razor here by accident. Okay. Yep, so here's the deceased. That's where they live. Let's F to search them. Yep, that was the entry wound, though. That doesn't mean that's the cause of death. Uh, bladed weapon. Okay, so that is the cause of death. All right, so they've been slashed to death. <laughs> by that person. So we already knew. This is why this is the information game. You find out every piece of information you possibly can about every single person you come into contact with as best you can 
uh, just all of it, and what will end up happening is you'll get a case like this where you'll already know the person that, that uh, you already know who the murderer is as soon as you scan that fingerprint. Really handy. And also, like I said, I steal keys, so. Advertisement. Condor News. Responsible, reliable, real time, every minute of every day. Condor 24. <laughs> it sounds exactly like one of the commercials, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am going to go to their work uh, their accountant oh, accountant and associates go to their work to try to find out more information unless we've already been there um, shopping list I wonder if they lived alone or why is all these drawers open that's a nice record player very nice yep. wish I had one People will be like, well, you want a record player. You got a, you got a PC. It's just like, put all your music on there. It's like, yeah, but record players are awesome. <laughs> uh, it's a doctor's prescription. That's where you work. So you live alone. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So we're just looking for one code. 1961. Turn on that. Probably has a safe here somewhere. At least we would hope. Aha! Oh, we already... Oh, we already know this person, huh? Spartan Insurance. We don't want it anyway. We can't steal. <laughs> We're not allowed to steal. I like this office, though. I like this apartment. If this apartment goes up for sale, I want it. <laughs> Except for... I don't know if I'm about that glitch, but... It's actually pretty cool. So we probably already investigated this person at one point or another, um, because we already knew their code. So, yeah, of course, of course, we've already been here. We've investigated this person. Uh, we actually been to their house. Oh, whoops! Put that down. Okay, uh, we do have everything we need. Uh, we got a fingerprint, and we've got the murder weapon as well. Uh, we went through their personal files, we went through their computer, we went through their work roster, we got a key. Oh, um, I guess I don't have to pin this. Um, it's just kind of, you know, tradition at this point. This must be the office. Oh, this is a separate bedroom. They have two bedrooms. Yeah, I actually want a two-bedroom apartment in this game as well. Like a two-bedroom apartment with like a, you know, with a big old bathroom and and uh, an office as well. I think that'd be really cool. Huge place, man. Huge place. Okay, let's drink our starch cola. Steady our nerves again. Let's get out of here. Hello. Okay, we, uh, we're going to go to their workplace first. Uh, to see if we've been there. Uh, we're in Lokia Towers, so... Ground floor, please. Alrighty. snowing. <laughs> that person just ran in there. Crazy. Off we go. And we're just treating this as if it's as if we don't know the killer. <laughs> I guess that elevator is probably like way up there or something. Where the hell is the elevator? Oh, there it goes. We almost made it to the seventh floor. Are they locking the door? 
<laughs> you locked him in. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Uh, damn it. I'm just gonna have to wait for them. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, he's going back in? Because I keep, I keep disturbing his. Thing. Now he's sitting there. What are you sitting there for? Uh, I guess I'll need to find a search call machine anyway. There we go. Stop that! No, do what I want. Starch call a gremlin. <laughs> And from the top ropes. <laughs> A lot of people going to work. Or going home, actually. That's why it's so laggy. Just a minute. Who said just a minute? <laughs> yes. He just locked her in. <laughs> and the AI. So hilarious. Now they're both sitting down. And now he's leaving. And he's going to close the door and lock it. And then he's going to unlock it and go back in. <laughs> Fine, we'll pass the time. Pass time. I don't want to wait for her an entire hour. Let's switch it. Uh, F, not E. There we go. Wait for about 15 minutes. Go get us another starch cola as well. Those cans don't fly very far, do they? Oh, he's still here. They're both still here. Why? fast. Fine, we'll pass an hour. Oh, they're still in there. How are you guys still in here? <laughs> you like the security or what? Let's pass another hour. At least we don't die if we don't drink starch cola. Well, we could. We could evaporate out of existence, I suppose. It is possible. Like, will you guys just go home? <laughs> you shouldn't be here. Finally going home. Hey! No! No! Go away! Go away! Go home! Thank you. Get out of here. <laughs> Since the alarm's on, I'm guessing that everybody's been in here. Everybody's hit. Everybody's going home. Oh, 
yeah, we've definitely been here. Definitely been here considering that that box was open. Yep. And our second check, yep. Second security check has also checked out. And then we just check these. Oh. Unless somebody moved in. Moved in. <laughs> they hired somebody new. Uh, so, J.A. Of course, that's always going to be. Yeah, we've already been here. H.V.E.R. H.A., sorry. No. We'll check you out, though. E.R. Yeah, there you are. There's Frank. This person's the head of H.R. and Natalia. It says we're still getting information, so said maybe they maybe they hired a few new people. Yeah, we already know these. Okay. Yeah, we already know these. All right, I guess that just leaves go into their apartment then. Wait, Natalia Stephens. Actually, type that in here. Natil. Oh, we know the fingerprint, but we don't know where they live. Unless, like, I don't know if they work here or not. Guess we'll check it out. Thought I saw Natalia Steffens. Is it the head of HR? Frank is logged into every PC. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Damn it, Frank! <laughs> Why are you logged into every single PC around? There's Natalia Steffens right there. Natalia Steffens, so 301 Terry House. Um, F01, or F1. 301 Terry House. No, that's 1301. 301. 301 T Terry House. 301 Terry. Definitely, yep. Yeah. 301 Terry House. Okay. Let's go. Also, getting famished as well. Getting hungry. Checking for a snack machine. Nope. Nope, these are all medical machines. Okay. Alrighty. We'll grab ourselves another starch cola. And we also need to find a snack machine or something. Something where we can eat a little bit of food, or we can just go into a restaurant that nobody's working at. Okay. <laughs> no, whoops. Terry House is this way. Oh, I went right by it. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, off we go. Oh, this is just a... I was just like, ooh, they have, do have citizen records. Never mind. Not there, anyway. It's further up. Alright, we're going to check for keys. Okay, no keys. 301 Terry House. Here we are.
You can answer the door. All right. There you are, Natalia Stevens. You just got home, I, I suspect, as well. But can I come in and take a look around? Not a chance. Okay, well, hopefully, uh, I'm not paying a murderer. <laughs> it's like, I'm not... Oh, crap. Somebody came in. I think. I thought somebody came in. I heard the thing. Turn on all the freaking lights so I can see. It's weird that you uh, enter this house into your own kitchen. You also dropped a utility knife, I think. I don't know. First thing, though, is I am going to steal your key to your house. And then we're going to... We're just going to hope that you don't have a partner living with you. 0648 on your PC. Not so. Oh, you do live... You do not live alone. Okay. Oh, there's a key there. 8859. Harley McKenzie. Hopefully they stay. 0648. I think I've already seen this, but oops. We'll do it anyway. Oh, whoops. Yeah. 06. And then we also get 25 crows for getting that code. Yep. Okay. So that's your codes. Now we just need in here. What was that? You, you are arrested. What do you care? <laughs> okay. Did I pin 301 to your house? I did not. Use it from, or we could pin it from the wallet. Where's the wallet? Oh, the wallet was in the kitchen, wasn't it? Oh, there it is. Pin that. And also pin her. Okay. So, full name of the killer. We've arrested them. Uh, do you have evidence? We have the fingerprint. Uh, we've located the murder weapon, and we know where they live. Okay, so we have everything we need. Pretty much. <laughs> we can inspect them to make sure they don't have anything else on them. They do not. Bye! Getting out of here. <laughs> Where are we? Doop a doop. Um, diners. Ah, oh, here's our place. Okay. Over to City Hall we go. Oh, and also. Do that real quick. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my brain kind of froze there for a second. Played the windows shut down noise. Alright. So we can resolve this. Just like that. Until you snow. He didn't pick it. Oh, there we go. Rest of the killer. Um, 
evidence that placed him at the crime scene. Where's the killer live? The murder weapon. Lot right to hand. Oh, whoops. I wanted to actually do this. Case processing. Please wait. We're very hungry. <laughs> As well. Hey, perfect case. Nice. Solved. 250 social credit. Nice. Alright, let's get ourselves something to eat before we die. Then we'll head over here. <laughs> that thing went farther than I did. Oh, that's right. Some of these you gotta access from like back here on the back street. And one thing I did learn is never throw trash in front of the starch coal enforcers. They will take you down with <laughs> any means necessary. So I'm curious though, after you solve that murder case, does the murder go away? Do they clean it up? Also the music. The synth music is great. No, it does not go away. Thought I could sneak by. <laughs> He's like, nope, you're not sneaking by here. We'll just stay hidden. <laughs> there we go. Who was that? <laughs> just walks right on in. The guy goes, nope, nothing to do with me. You're like, really contorted down here in the, in the thing. <laughs> Get a screenshot of that. <laughs> just all contorted in the corner. Oh, I guess we just had to wait a few seconds, it's fine. Oh yeah, I want to eat this other one. But yeah, I got shot at <laughs> last time I threw a starch cola can near a starch coal enforcer. It's like, oh, you decided to litter? That's punishable by death. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> I'm out of here. Alright. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Going around the staircases. Um, so yeah, we either need to head home or we need to head to the... Um, to head to the city hall. Probably home's closer. We need to get ourselves a pair of handcuffs and then we need to go around and look for, uh, continue to look for jobs. Let's see if any, any new jobs have appeared on some of the job boards we cleaned up. Just trying to lower that on uninstall cost. It's kind of become a staple of this series, me drinking starch cola all the time. That's why I'm just like, do I really want to get rid of it? <laughs> I guess if we lower it down to zero at some point. Or we lower it down enough to where it's just like, eh. Let's get rid of it now. Okay. Yeah, let's go check the job boards out. I, I just looked at the city hall one, the city hall one. There was nothing there. Nothing new there, so. Let's check this one. Rest case. Nope. Except. Close case. Get out of here. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, we need to also do this too. I usually take a photo of the uh, how we solved it. That one was pretty easy. We can archive. We can 
close it. Guess we'll head to the uh, the diners and see what they got for us. Now this one's got plenty of jobs now. Um, accept it. No. Yeah, we'll accept that one. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. That's just another arrest case. But yeah, I'm just taking these jobs just to get rid of them. <laughs> I don't want them. Um... Like, I want jobs that I can actually... Jobs that I can actually get sync discs from. Either that or we're gonna have to start stealing them, maybe. Oh man, this one's full. Holy crap. No. 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 Nope. 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 Oh. Yeah, he. Can I open another case? Okay. It's fine. Close all these cases then. So <sighs> like, give me one with a sync disk I don't have. Come on. I guess we can take on a couple of rest cases for money, I suppose. Any good experience for them, I guess. The only problem is there there's so much money they're not gonna give us anything. We can accept them though. Okay. Oh. Lay Murphy. Arrest the suspect. Identify them. Okay. Oh, and they both they give us both names. All right, that's easy to do. That's really easy to do. Um, we got a pair of handcuffs. We can go solve these two real quick. Why not? It's like you never. If you're gonna give me an arrest case and you want me to spend a little time on it, don't give me a name. <laughs> Although I do appreciate it because uh, it does make uh, life easy for us. go in here though and go into our government database right there and then so lay murphy lay murphy print out their pr their uh, personnel file pin them oh whoops not pin that click the name and then pin that there we go and then that should give us our, their address as well. Yep, 103. Oh, whoops. I forgot I also got to pin the um, the address too. It gives me the address of it. I can pin the address. Okay. Oh, and then the other one, of course. Wait, Lay Murphy. Whoops. Hold on. Unpin it from here. Go over here. Pin it there. There you go. Unpin it from here. 
pin a pin it here. <laughs> I'm so glad you're allowed to do that. All right. So we got their address and we got their name, what they look like. Very, very good. So, Kose, I'm uh, not even going to think it. Uh, do it. K-O-S. That should be enough. K-O-S-E. There he is. Or, there they are. Yep, we're going to pin... Oh, we got too many things open, I think. Or too many things of the same thing. I don't know why I won't pin it. Oh, it pinned it for me. What? Whatever. It pinned me their location, then. Pin that. Okay. Alright. There we go. There's both the arrest cases. I'm gonna do one at a time. <laughs> that way I don't I don't wanna bug out the game. I was like, I could do both. It's like, nah. Buy another starch cola. Hey, you catch. They don't fly very far. You could probably do that to somebody though. <laughs> Have like just an empty can, just to go like, hey, you catch, and then the person nearby turns around and you throw it at them, and they catch it. <laughs> they probably will catch it and then go what? <laughs> and by that time you're already gone. Uh, by the time they can even process what just happened. Need to do something um, light, though. Something that can't be, you know... That can't be pinned on you as assaulting. <laughs> as assault, <laughs> I guess. Don't want to get in trouble. Right, 15th floor, let's go! Oops. I guess I don't need it. Fine. Oh, holy crap! Another murder case. All right, well, we'll get the we'll give the police time to investigate that one, um, and we'll just uh, go and arrest this person. Oh, we have a key. All right, they're not even home. I think, yeah, we've already been through their personal files as well. Okay. Right, they must have a safe around here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, we've already been in here, apparently. <laughs> Alright. Ground floor we go. Because they're not here. Actually, we need to find out where they work. Holy crap. How lucky am I? Alright. Yeah, we're looking for that person. Yep. Uh, they work at Obsidian Technology, so that's... Unpin that. That goes over here. Yep, they work at Obsidian Technologies. Okay. Actually pretty darn rich for having what they have. To avoid this. Okay. Hope that's the bathroom. Ah, I tripped the alarm. <laughs> go, go, go. Ground floor. <laughs> we'll just leave the door open. All of the alarms are going off. Every single one of them. <laughs> Jeez. The entire building is on alert. 
Holy crap. Also, take me here. Uh oh, we got spotted. Go, 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 go. Like, wait a minute, I saw you on the security camera. <laughs> Get the heck out of here. I think we've lost sight, nearly lost sight of us. Sixth floor. going to arrest them at their work. Because they're not here, so they must be at work, right? Nope, they're not even here. Huh. Maybe they're on their way home. Guess we can wait around their place for a moment. Ah, we're being pursued. Why? Why is everybody after us? He's got a rifle. Leave me alone, I didn't do it. Just hide here. <laughs> I think it's just because we, everybody had seen we were on the camera for some reason. I don't understand the system. <laughs> then. Stop pursuing us. Here are you. We don't know you? Yeah. That's fine. I was hoping they would be home, because they probably are. 15th floor. Let's go. Okay, hopefully they're home now. Burglars didn't take anything. <laughs> it's like, yeah, because I don't usually steal. Maybe I'll steal a house key and that's about it. But I've already been in your house. Apparently. Well, can say, <laughs> oh, jeez. Just like, open up! FBI! See who it is first before you bust through the door. Is that the person we're looking for? Yes, yeah, it is. Bye. <laughs> okay. And your security is all disabled, so now we can we can look look around. I think we've already, uh, considering we were just logged into that. Oh crap, their, uh, their partner is a security guard. <laughs> or a starch call enforcer. That's not good. That's okay. Yeah, we're pursued. Blah, blah, blah. See you later. Alright, um, let's go ahead and resolve this. I read to hand in. Oh, she took the elevator. That's alright, we'll take it this time. <laughs> Did 
ground floor, please. Yes. That was a fun one. If they do like a major, major update, major overhaul on this game, we might be starting a new game. Um, if my game is too bugged, <laughs> or if there's a lot of stuff implemented into the new update that I want that this game doesn't have, we might just start a new one. I don't want to start a new one though, but you know, because we've made so much progress on this one. And in case. Okay, it's processing. Processing. Perfect. Solved! We just get some money. And some social credit. Look at all the Starch Cola enforcers going to work. <laughs> that one's got some uh, armor proof pants. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Alright, we can go ahead and close this case. Okay, take us here. 103 McMullen Grove, excuse me officers. There's lag about... McClellan. First floor. Take the elevator. <laughs> Anybody has any keys underneath their floor mat? There we go. Like, I need them to come to the door. We'll see who it is first. If it's Lean Murphy, then we'll bust in. Hopefully, no one's around when we do this. It is Lee Murphy. Whoa! Sorry. Wrong button. Close the door. Lock it. <laughs> They're just like, my god! <laughs> oh crap, I don't have handcuffs. Uh oh. Um, go before they wake up! <laughs> Why didn't I buy handcuffs like an idiot? I'm a fool. <laughs> He's running around. What I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee. Is this our house? It is. It is our house. Okay. Whoa! Okay, no, the machine's loaded again. I was like, where'd my machines go? Somebody stole <laughs> my vending machines. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just, I forgot handcuffs. I'll buy another starch cola. Hopefully they're still knocked out. They're still knocked out, good. Sorry, had to go get a pair of handcuffs. There you are. Okay. Alrighty, let's find out all our all the information we can about you. So LM six zero five seven. Oh, you have a sync disc. Infiltrator. Increase time citizens are knocked out or increase security. Oh, can we have that? Anyway. Enter the 
code here. Sweet. 6057. Let's close that. We don't need it. Oh, looks like you live alone. This is good news for us. Okay. I guess we already knew everything about you. I will steal your... Oh, wait. No, we already have a key, don't we? Because we just locked the door. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need from you. Maybe work rotation? No. Oh, already know that. Alright. Bye! I'll look at your wallet. Okay. Yep. Bye! Have a great time! Oops. Let's go ahead and resolve this one. Le Murphy. I'll retain it. We're really close to City Hall as well, so... Perfect. Processing, please wait for results. <laughs> the guy's like, what? Are you... okay? <laughs> do you... do you need aid? <laughs> Solved. 100 social credit. Sweet. So, now we can go ahead and archive this. The Uberta case. Get the resolution form. F1, 901, Terry House. I think we were just over there, weren't we? Drink us a starch cola. What happens if you if you see me throw this? You don't care. Okay, I'm fine with that. Repair handcuffs. This time we won't forget. Yep, just telling us what we need. No, we were not in Terry House. We were in... Oh, we were in, uh, McLellan. Yep, McLellan. Quite a good, uh, video this is gonna be, though, if we can solve it quickly. Because, um, you solve two more murder cases. <laughs> what a fun game, though. I don't know why this game is so addicting. It's annoying, but it's also addicting at the same time, like... I mean, annoying like it can't have its... It can have its issues, but it's... you can forgive it, because <laughs> the game does work really well for the most part. There's a few little hiccups here and there, but uh, hopefully they'll get those fixed. I wonder if you'll let us just walk in. Somebody in the lobby? <laughs> he just <laughs> completely ignores me. He just saw me walking. Whoa, somebody cleaned this place out, didn't they? Oh. Um. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, that's too good. They're stuck in the door. That's pretty freaking funny, man. Just stuck in the doorway. Perfect. Put a pin in it. <laughs> Did I just arrest somebody with that? There's a business card here. Alright, let's um, take print. So we know what your print is. Okay. Inspect. Oh, we already... El... Alicia? El Alicia? Holloway. Alright. Oh, whoops, we forgot to pin the, um, what was it? Where are we at? 901. 901 Terry House. I always like to pin the address so I can come back here later if I want. Um, and then search. Oh, you were shot to death. Okay. By a pistol or revolver. 
And if I'll find some spent shells around. You just quickly get to your files. What's your name again? Okay, so a part you do have a partner that lives here. Ronnie Beal. That works at Sapphire and Sons. And do you work at uh, Alamo Limited? Okay. So whose prints are on this card then? Ronnie Beal. Okay. It's like usually. So three nine two nine. Turn that on. I have a bathroom light switch. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's like no lights in here. Oh. It was me. <laughs> I didn't do it. They cleaned out the safe. They have Dove Plus. Uh, the personal data to be extracted. Citizen mugshots. You will now know citizens' salary. Wait, we already have this one, don't we? Oh, we did. Yeah, Dove Plus. You will now know Citizen Seller. Yep, we already have that anyway. What's the code? 3929. Nope, not that one. Must be computer then. Nope, other one. So shaky. We just need the other person's code now. Five two two or five 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 two. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> And this is the person that's dead over there. So I do want to find out if they got any emails. Request for your help. Nope. Let's check the other person then. Oops. Let's see what they got on their email. Anything? Stands out. Nope, nothing stands out. Hmm. And the problem I see is that there's no murder weapon. <laughs> and since it glitched, uh oh, this is going to be another one of them, isn't it? It's like, since it glitched, there's no... Wait a second, the safe was open. Wait, what? Albrol Avia? That was on the safe as well. Can we... No, we can't right-click the safe. Yeah, your fingerprints shouldn't be on the safe. Yeah, your fingerprints are all over the safe. Inside. Okay. Yeah, neither one of them have that name. It's Ronnie Beal or Hathaway. It's not Avril Ava. <laughs> so we know for a fact then that that's the murderer. I don't know what the... Do you have a wallet? You do. I'll take your key. 
But we're going to pin their address book just in case as well. And we're going to go to both of these places here. Um, forest, uh, forest first. And don't worry about me. I think we had everything. We went through the computer personal files. We got a key. Um, we don't know what the murder weapon is, but we do have a fingerprint, so we have a lead. Um, not really a lead, more like a, a hook, line, and sinker, but... <laughs> That's how it goes. So yeah, we'll go and investigate them. Or where their places of work was. McMullen Grove. McMullen Grove, okay. I think we've been to Sapphire and Sun, so I'm gonna go to the other one first. Pouring with rain. Oh look, just over here. That's a short commute for them. They both work in this building. Um, what's that say? Seventh floor. I couldn't read it. <laughs> the resume was on top of it. Seventh floor. Up we go. I should have probably bought a starch cola there, but I think they have more on the upper levels. There we go. Oh, we had a starch color. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> These two cameras. Please go away. Somebody in the lobby? Oh, they're investigating the camera noise. Oh, I see. That's why they're standing there. Looks like we've already been in here. Yeah, definitely. Okay then. Uh, oh, no 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 no. It's close. Just need to check the employee records real quick. And go. I think the alarm was just about to go off. This first one um, gave us more information. So IA, or no, um, MA. That's the only one that gave us information and so. stuff. So now, the Sapphire and Sons, which is 10th floor. Screw you, 9th floor. <laughs> Sapphire and Sons, I pretty sure we were here at one point. Looks like the security's disabled. Which is weird. Very strange. Oh, it's not disabled. It is in that first room for some reason. Oh, hello. Ah!
Hello there. Bye bye there. Pretty sure I've been in here. Uh, yep, yep, and. Yeah. Alrighty, how we go? Balls. <laughs> Okay, so more than likely they're probably at home. So we'll just go to their house. Let's go get them. We need to find out where they live, unfortunately. <laughs> we don't have, we're not privileged with that info. Not yet, anyway. Go. We'll just go to the government database and call it a day. <laughs> now, one thing is still tracking us that one camera, unfortunately. Hopefully, it doesn't bug out the game too hard. I don't think it will, but you never know. Oh, I was following the red arrow. I don't know why. Don't know why. Here is the, uh, the city hall. To the government database. You're not allowed here? I know. I was trying to see if I can get rid of that thing, but it seems to be stuck on there. So. A B R I L. A B R I L. And you. And where you live. The job title company director. Where? I don't know. Somewhere. <laughs> Now we know where they live. Let's go get them. Do we have handcuffs? We do have handcuffs. Good. Over to McMullen. Which I believe is the end building over here right next to the park. Oh, now we're going the other entrance. The one with the actual thing. all of this. Buy another one. <laughs> Just trying to lower the cost as much as I can. Hopefully they're home alone right now. Uh, 11 to 1, yep. Who is it? <laughs> FBI, open up! Zuri Ta- that's not the person, okay. Oh. They probably don't know that their uh, partner's a murderer, so can I come and take a look around? Not a chance. What if I pay you 50 crows? I don't let people off the street into my home. Especially not for 50 crows. How about 100? Ah, you're welcome to. Come on in. And the other person's like, I hope that's not a cop. But I don't care. I'm drunk. Then I'm going to go throw up in the toilet. Uh, this is probably the murder weapon right here. Fingerprints are all over it. Okay. Um, so, full name of the killer. 
uh, we're going to arrest them. Uh, evidence to place them at the crime scene, where they live, and their weapon. We're going to take this key real quick. We're going to find out every bit of information we can about them, though. Hopefully they'll stay here. I mean, they are drunk. They might leave, but hopefully they'll stay here. On the computer. AA. Passcode year you were born. Oh crap. Um, year you were born. I need to find a code. You guys not have another place for your personal documents? Oh. Oh, never mind. Really? They don't have personal documents here? What the heck? The heck, game? It's supposed to be in there. Oh, here we go. Another code. That's good. Excuse me, ladies. Let me just find out uh, what your code is. Zero five five zero. Oh, we already did that one. got your key, we got your personal information, the computer, the safe. Uh, do we know both work rotations? I don't think we do. Alright, you stay in here for a second. No! St oh my gosh. I need to arrest your significant other. While she's on the toilet. Because <laughs> it'll just work. As long as they don't see us do it, it's fine. Okay. Alright, later! I'm also gonna do this. Have a can. <laughs> All right. Um, we can go ahead and resolve this, I guess. Here, name of the killer. We arrested them. Oops. That. That. And that. Lot root. And they're gonna come into the bathroom and be like, "What happened?" <laughs> How did you end up in handcuffs in the bathroom? Like, I don't know. I got off the toilet and he just arrested me. Oh, what did you do? <laughs> anyway. Oh, going the wrong way. That'll be another case solved for us and that'll be... That'll be a... Uh, Good time there. Good episode. Heck yeah. I was gonna end it a little bit end it a little bit early today because uh, <laughs> I've had a headache this entire time, but I do enjoy this game, so I'm willing to try and push past it. We got we got a lot done though. We did get a lot done. Case processing.
that's why I'm being kind of meh um, this episode. I mean, I'm meh all the time, but I'm especially meh today. <laughs> so I just, I've had a massive headache this entire time. So it's just like, bleh, just don't feel quite right in the head, you know? <laughs> Alright, we're almost level 10, so that's pretty good. Heck yeah. Um, oh, we could just buy some more handcuffs and another starch cola. This time, I'm going to remember to save. Ready? You guys are going to watch me save as well. <laughs> so, so tired of, uh, of that. I've done that twice, and it's just... Oh, it's the worst. We're going to suck down this soda right into our gullet. Throw it away. Grab some more handcuffs. <laughs> well then. I think that is going to be it for this episode of Shadows of Doubt. Um, so yeah, it's been a really fun time. I've, I've enjoyed this game a lot. I really have. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is time for, it to, for this episode to end, I think. And that is going to be it. So anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I guess it's a... Goodbye.